Okay, so we showed that uh, the Klein-Gordon equation results from starting with the Lagrangian of a field and applying the Euler-Lagrange equations. So let's get a little practice with that kind of thing. So let's uh, explore the what's uh, the Lagrangian of a what's called a real scalar field, and let's find the equations of motion. So uh, this Lagrangian looks like. Um, well, we'll let's do let's continue in one dimension. So, uh, one half um, d five by d x squared. Uh, so it looks very similar to what we had before, except we'll add a function of phi, and of course we need to evaluate dl by d phi dot, and that is just phi dot, uh, dl with respect to d phi by dx, let's just write it like that, uh, and that is just d phi by dx, uh, dl by d phi uh, minus m squared phi, the last term, um, dv by d phi, and uh, then we have to do d by dt, uh, dl by d phi dot, uh, plus d by dx of dl by, uh, we call it d x like that um, and this is equal to dl by d phi um, sorry what am I doing here um, mixing things uh, d by dt well this gives us uh, Phi double dot, and then when we take the derivative of this, we're just doing, we're doing that. Sorry. So we get that, uh, and so if we're putting them all together, the euler lagrange equations, let's not write that part. Um, uh, there we get, uh, we have this, so we get phi double dot, we get this. Uh, we have... Um, minus dl by d phi, and that's equal to zero. So minus dl by d phi, that's m squared phi. Here we have minus dv by d phi. That's equal to zero. Uh, those are the equations of motion from this Lagrangian.